The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Piece of Shit, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians and one, well, I got one stand-up comedian and one funny guy. Uh, first, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> See that round of applause there, Jeremy? At ease, Scotty, as you were. <laughs> okay, fine. And also, uh, the funniest member of my family, uh, my brother, Mr. Fred. Hey, hey, back yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> Fred. Is he related to that talking horse? <laughs> yeah. Usually. Yeah. Right. So, sometimes, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I am. Sometimes we are blood related. Right. And other times, no. No. He's just the asshole that puts the peanut butter on his gums. Right. <laughs> yeah. other places. Yeah, right. Uh, but we've got a, a holiday special episode for you guys this week. We are recording on uh, Labor Day, right? That's right. Okay. All day. <laughs> I so mix bre- up Labor Day and Memorial Day. Break out the fucking Christmas music. Yeah, exactly. I keep them straight because Memorial Day is in May. They both start with M. Oh, okay. That, that makes that perfect sense. That and I am totally dedicated to remembering our fallen victims. That's why I take that day off. Yeah. Uh, fallen, not fallen victims, fallen veterans, uh, to remember those who gave their lives in service of this country. And I don't take that day off to fuck off on my own at all and just get out of doing work. Okay, sure you don't. Uh, then again, you have Labor Day, which was started uh, as a means to not go to work. Yes. That was literally why the holiday was started in the first place, and thank God for that guy. <laughs> no shit. That's the best holiday ever. Uh-huh. Um, but no, we have a, a sh- maybe a little bit shorter episode this week, uh, but we'll make it as entertaining as we possibly can. If this is the very first time that you ever listened to this podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, all of them are targeted toward me, and that's fine. You picked uh, a good one to start on yeah, because no uh, <laughs> nothing bad has happened yet. That's right. And <laughs> Usually a lot of shit's gone way wrong by now. <laughs> Scotty actually started this one off right by referring to himself as a piece of shit. <laughs> that's right. And then uh, it's just only gotten better from there. Yeah, yeah, you know. Hey, we've uh, educated you on how to remember Memorial Day. Uh, <laughs> right. let's, let's just run down a recap of what all we've learned so far. We've learned that Fred's related to a horse sometimes sometimes <laughs> and memorial days in may <laughs> very good uh, but this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and make loud noises so if that's not your thing you're in the wrong place get the fuck out of here thanks and bye uh, but we have a very very good episode we've got uh, the news we got we're going to expand a little bit on that because a lot of shit has happened uh, we got real shit horse shit overrated or underrated questions perguntas and as always a fun draft with a shitty situation following but as we always do, we want to start off with what has happened to us over the last week or a couple of weeks for Fred. Uh, we call it our week, week <coughs> recap. So, Fred, kick it off, dude. Oh, me first. Me you start off first. first. Yeah, dude. Heck, it's been a while since I've been in here, guys. I so know. It's nice. Uh, At least a couple of weeks. Shit, it's been a, a month. Uh, yeah. Has it been that Yeah, because yeah. it's before yeah, the Derek water broke. Two in a row. Man. Yeah. Wow. Two. Yeah. Uh, so, since then, man, I've started uh, pilot lessons. I've yeah. been up in the air. Yeah, uh, really? Yeah. You yeah. finished ground school then? I didn't finish ground school. Yeah, I finished that back in May, so I'm up in the air. What do they got you practicing on? Uh, I'm in a Piper uh, Cherokee P28. Is that one of the canvas side ones? Or is it? I don't Don't look at me. I don't know. <laughs> What's what's the airplane made out of? Fiberglass. Fiberglass. Okay. 
Yeah. And then, so I'll fly. You should know that as the pilot. <laughs> well, hell, I didn't know there was still I, canvas was, made fucking aircraft. Oh, yeah. There's canvas winged aircraft and shit like that. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. No. I did not no. know that. Those either. ones that only go like a thousand feet up in the air. Then oh, you got no. your ultralights. Yeah, I ain't going to fly no ultralight. Fuck, that's no. like that's some a asshole. Airplane. Some asshole decided to put a propeller and a hang glider on a fucking go kart <laughs> yep. and thought that was a good idea. <laughs> Let's do this and go 20 miles. Mm hmm. No, then that one, uh, I'll start a 172 this week, tomorrow morning, actually. Really? Nice. Get a, 172. Yeah, get a 172 That's for a, this week and see the difference that. between that and a Piper and see what I like. Low but wing, I, high wing. I think you'll you'll find a tremendous difference. Yeah, that's what they say, but I'm just wanting to feel them all out. Yeah. See have you gotten to actually uh, be at the controls for a landing yet? I have not. I, no. My, my feet don't understand the rudder okay. enough to feel safe so landing. You got to get your feet steady a little more. Yes. Yep, my feet have to catch up to my brain. Oh, so, fair. All yeah, right. It's a, it's a long distance. Off. I mean, when your feet go to school, I mean, it's the, it's hard to get them to concentrate. They're always out wanting to party, smoking the fucking weed. Hey, right. Tell me about it, man. Yep. Hanging out with the fungus. I, I, yes. That's where I inject my heroin so people don't see the track marks. Right. Yeah, smart. See? Go between yeah. the toes. Man, you can't go to the that's beach right. at all then. Nor do I want to. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's really not a problem living in Kansas. There you go. I can't there go to the go. fucking beach. <laughs> All I'm thinking about is you getting done with this flight school and then getting a plane and then us like not having to drive eight hours anywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my I'm God. I'm really excited to go skiing I, whoo, anytime we want. Pretty much. I, 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 oh, like on your ski trips and stuff, yeah, that'll come in handy. I know a lot of guys who are who did that and they're like fuck man i can just go to kansas city and shit by the time that you rent the plane yep. and uh pay for the fuel yep. and then you got to rent a car when you get to kansas city because yep. you can't drive the plane wherever you go i mean <laughs> you can but you're going to get pulled over yeah uh and that's really not fuel economical <laughs> right <laughs> to just taxi everywhere that motherfucker yep. just pulling uh, right down main mm -hmm. street I, I mean i guess anymore you can uber i mean talk about running from the cops just kind of take off that's, yeah that's pretty easy be sure and land if you ever do take it to kansas city be sure and and landed at kcx oh, uh, right. yeah don't <laughs> don't go to some little municipal airport go to kansas city international airport oh god that'd be <laughs> try and land Ooh. amongst the fucking commercial airliners <laughs> yeah. that's oh, no. a lot of fun god yeah oh goodness so then there's that so you've been to disney world since we you've been on last haven't you no we go in a week we go in seven uh -oh. days so we go you're going again? Yeah. yeah. Yep, going again. So Just to find out what it's like. Uh, Not in July? <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> no, the, the, the girlfriend's getting to go for a company. They bought her, or bought her, whatever. They're sending her to the Polynesian into one of their large suites on the bungalows on the water. Oh, okay, yeah. So she yeah, got yeah. it. they got it for two nights so she can experience it, document it, and, and then sell it. Mm. Mm. Um, so I was like, well, then I'm going. Is that a timeshare deal? She doesn't have to pay for anything. No, I, don't, I, I don't, mean, when no, she it, sells it to people. No, it's just for uh, any any time you want to go to Disney. Oh, okay. she focuses on the luxury end I got of you. Disney. Ah, so they're putting her in the bungalow so she can f see what it's like firsthand. That's too. why you dress in such fancy clothes, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. Exactly. 100%. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so we'll go next week. Uh, daughter started freshman year of high school. Yeah. Goodness gracious, mm -hmm. that is. I I know it's such a fucking cliche. For people, but goddamn, if you have kids, seriously, enjoy it because it fucking flies by. It yeah. is such an amazing thing how quick it goes by. And Super and my experience quick. raising a child was fucking miserable, and uh, it still <laughs> goes by still. really fucking fast. <laughs> nice, yeah. Uh, you also did uh, something for the very first time. You were a part of a fantasy oh, football yes, I am league. The uh, league. Mm -hmm. Loser. That's I think okay. That's why they invited me. That's fine. I think my team's name is Wookie Mistake. Okay. Ah, so, nice. yeah, yeah. The Did my guys at work wanted me to ask my girlfriend to join. Yeah. So she did, and they needed an extra player. So they then they're like, "Hey, you should just do it too." Yeah. And let her manage your team. Did you get drunk and not wash your hands? I'd probably. Oh, it's not the first time. Okay. I bet you were far more pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee. Far you. easier to deal with. I guarantee you, you were. Um. But anyways, you get anything else? Oh, God, there's so much, but I'll just let you guys go. Are you sure? We got a lot of time. All right, well, we, we went to the K-State yeah. football there game this we weekend. Go. Nice. So uh, we go up to quite a bit of those with her family. So we did that, saw all of her family. It was a blowout against South Dakota, 38-0 mm. to zero or there something. You go. Yeah. 34 nothing. 34. See, I was real close. I paid attention <laughs> a little bit. Uh, so we're thinking we'll go next weekend uh, with our daughter. We'll get her and take her up there. Yeah. Uh, they play Missouri. Okay, now that's a that's a little bit yeah. Better that's game why we right wanted there. we we looked at their schedule and they only play 
Oklahoma State, Texas, and Texas Tech at home. Everyone else is away. Really? Like, really? Like they've got to have more games than that. Well, they do, but they're the nobodies that you want to watch. You uh, know, okay, like, okay. OU's at OU and things like that. So we're like, well, Missouri will be a good game, so we really should go. Okay. Um, gonna say, yeah. I think isn't KU at K State this year? Yeah, KU is it's their final game, yeah. I think. But but that's gonna be an ass whooping. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. So <laughs> so we'll probably make this one, um, and for sure Texas. Yeah, that'd be yeah. that'd be a good one. I'm not sure about Texas Tech. Just depends what we got going on that weekend. Yep. Nope. Full schedule, man. Oh, it's it's packing up. Yep, it's I packing hear you. Up. Yep, same for us. Uh, as far as my week this last week, I, I got to go golfing, um, which uh, we we went to a course in, uh, in McPherson, actually. Uh, Turkey, Turkey Creek. Creek. Yeah. That's a so nice course. It's a very nice course, but fuck that course. Um, <laughs> that was the worst round of fucking golf I've ever played in my entire life. However, the person that checked you in, oh my God, you could have, uh, you could have like, dropped a quarter off of her ass it was so nice but anyways other than that the what golf was his name? Sucked. her name i don't remember um but <laughs> you know very surprisingly sweet. uh yeah. k hugh beat the shit out of tennessee tech i'm not that surprised tennessee I, tech sucks there, i've seen years when tennessee tech would have whipped the shit out of ku yeah but that's they won true. 56 to 10 okay oh, wow. for ku to put up 56 points against nobody that's impressive. would be impressive they usually fuck up on their seven on seven drills i agree i don't think they're going to be as shitty as they're going to be <clears throat> as they as they normally are I, but I, I don't think they'll win a conference game but. there you go um but yeah so i went golfing played the worst game of my life uh stopped even stop counting strokes because it was so bad. I uh, went with our buddy Bob, and at which point we decided that we are going to book a trip to St. Louis to watch the Cardinals play uh, in the oh, middle nice. of this month. That's the kind of decisions that shit golf makes you make. Yeah, exactly. That's right, Let's it watch sure shit does. Baseball after that. So we uh, we've already booked a hotel. We've already booked. We've already got our tickets. And if the math lines up just right, depending on who is starting, because we're going. There's a double header on Saturday. And uh, they play the Reds, uh, but if the math if math works out right, it should be the game that we're going to will be Adam Wainwright pitching to Yadier Molina, breaking the record for the most games as a battery pitcher and catcher, mm. and then also after Pujols last night hit his uh, 695th career home run, if he just hits a couple dingers. I might be able to get to see 700 for Pujols and breaking the record for Adam Wainwright and Pujols. So I'm fucking pumped when, for that When shit. does this happen? Uh, September the 16th, I believe, is when we fly out. So I think, and that's You're a Friday. You're flying. Um, <laughs> yes. Freddie, you flying them? No. Yeah. no. They can't afford me. No, that's true. Uh, the game, that's when we go to fucking Disney. Right. The 17th is, is, the, is the day of the game, but we fly out on I mean, the I, 16th. That's that's right in that sweet spot where you could do either. I mean, it's an eight hour drive. Six, six and a half. Not the way I drive, pal. That's true. You're I take safe. Scenic routes. Right. No, I'm not safe. <laughs> I have to hide a lot from the cops. Just right. <laughs> Smoking a bandit style. I drive one vehicle. My wife drives the other. I run blocker for. Her. We get right. on our CB radios and we talk to each other. Yeah. We use a lot of jargon and bad acting. Mm-hmm. Well, we. I, I actually was all up for driving. I actually do like the those six hour road trips aren't aren't actually bad if you get like a good podcast to listen to like this one. Uh, that's you know longer than an hour and a half. Yeah, uh-huh. good always good. Yeah, so those are always fun. Uh, however, the people we're going with, Bob and his wife, uh, they have a lot of points and a lot of miles to, to use, and so they want to pay for the uh, the flight. We'll get there in an hour and a half. Nice. Yeah, and I, I know that two two and a half hour drive that me and Derek took down to Oklahoma City just fucking flew by because right. a great company. Yeah. For some reason, an hour and a half podcast here takes for fucking ever <laughs> and i can't we can't figure out what it is that makes it just drag along so slow let's go with the process of elimination there uh, jeremy um but anyways the microphones huh the microphones obstructing our yeah that's what it we'll is we'll go with yeah. that for sure um then the other thing that i did was i uh we have we have two new shows that actually came out uh this weekend but before you before oh. you uh get to that oh. uh do you think it would make this go by faster if I found a good podcast to listen to <laughs> at the same time while I was doing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Fuck yeah, absolutely. You could do All right, that. Yeah, can't talk right now. Um, but uh, we watched uh, the the Lord of the Rings. The new series uh, came Rings out. Rings of Power. Yeah, yep. and they actually had both two. Episodes. Yeah, they had, they came two. out two. So um, I did the first one last night. Uh, the first one I was nah meh. It was, it was, I, I, it was very meh. Yeah. 
Second it one was, was a lot set up. So, yeah, exactly. And that's that's the one where they're gonna explain all the bullshit to you and, and kind of catch you up of where you are, what you know, what you're wearing, all that mm-hmm. bullshit. Um, but uh, the second one I really enjoyed. I, I saw them setting up what's kind of gonna really happen. Really like swimming, huh? Love swimming. Swimming's fun. Because that's uh, all it was. No, it had some other fun parts and stuff, but uh, not many. I, I thought it was. I thought it was great. Uh, even my they're, wife. They're setting it, it, it up. up. They, yes. What they were trying to do was. They wanted to call it two episodes because I think they promised ten. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. But what they're doing is that they're set. They they should have just had a two hour long first episode Opener. and then made one hundred percent. They did you know Amazon spent almost a billion dollars to make yes. this series? No shit. Yes, it, it is the most expensive series of all time. No no series has ever cost a billion dollars to make throughout, even if it had like multiple seasons throughout its duration. Mm-hmm. No show has ever wow. taken a billion dollars to make huh. so you can expect pretty heavy on the cgi oh my yes. okay well uh and then the other thing is that i watched the the newest episode of lord of the rings my or not lord of the rings game of thrones uh yeah. the house house, house of dragons. dragons yeah they're really cutting out on the titties bro they sure are my they are god stepping up the fucking well, they're, violence. they're all under <laughs> they 18 <are>. yeah <laughs> I, I yeah I guess that is yeah, true. Yeah, there's a couple. Even though the one's been knocked up a couple of times now. Yeah, uh, they're really skipping through time. Uh huh. They are. They are. Um, but you say, know, you don't need to skip through titties though. No, no. involve but the titties. I'm going to say that they have found what may be the most painful, agri- you know, agonizing way to die in this. Getting eaten by the, crabs. Crabs. Yeah. Oh, that you is. Have your hands vicious. nailed to a post and let uh, fucking crabs slowly eat you to death cuz crabs don't eat quickly. No. No. No, they don't. I mean, imagine when you got them in your or like like in your pubic region, they don't yeah. eat, they don't take out very many chunks of skin. So, not enough. Slow painful death. Not enough for me to lose weight. Didn't know right. that. Uh but yeah, that was uh, that was my week. How about you, Jeremy? Uh well, uh it started off nice. I uh it it had been, I believe, since Memorial Day since I had cheated on my diet and so i cheated <laughs> on my diet this week so i ate carbs this Whoa. weekend okay uh What's a delicious? every time i do it reminds me why i shouldn't <laughs> uh i feel fucking miserable <laughs> oh, all yeah. that shit i just feel all that shit built up in my joints and in my muscles all the fucking chemicals and shit if i'd have been thinking ahead of time i would have actually brought some gym shorts and a t-shirt and stopped at eye cryo on the way home and uh use their infrared sauna yeah because that's supposed to help take a lot of the chemicals and shit out of you when you have a bad weekend yeah um but i did we went to the farmer's market yesterday morning yeah oh yeah and uh or no saturday morning and uh there was a food truck there that was selling uh smoked brisket burox oh, oh fuck God, dude <laughs> fuck i mean i had to i i put some cheese in them uh-huh. when i got them because it was just Brisket mm. and bread, which is fine with me. I don't need cabbage and onions and shit. Um, <clears throat> but holy fuck, these were good. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. But, uh, so there was that. Um, other than that, you know, I ate like a fucking asshole. I ate pizza. I ate uh, burgers. I ate uh, what? We had Jersey Mike's. That was fucking disappointing. Was it? I ordered extra meat on mine and. Uh, Boy, I'd hate to see just regular meat because <laughs> there was less meat than what should be on a regular sandwich. Wow. Um, so, you know, that was a bad sandwich experience. And trust me, I know sandwiches. Yeah, I know I you know. do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Got to be disappointed on Saturday. They scrubbed the Artemis launch again. Yeah, uh, I saw I was that. surprised that they tried again so soon. I, I was too. Uh, and they were supposed to try again today. Uh, but they just decided, you know what, no. Uh, we got too many problems to figure out. So now September 19th, I think. Is what it wow, they pushed it back pushed quite a little bit. Well, uh, a lunar cycle oh, is uh, two weeks. There? Okay. So they, they're they running it, even though there's no people on there, they're going to run it like as if there were people on there. They're going to run all the systems, oh, life support, and all that, because they got to test all that shit out. And you can only send people up there when there's a full moon. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so, you know, you got to wait another two weeks before this This would be the end of the launch the window cycle. for when you could can make it. And then for another gotcha. two weeks. Good so know. when you can see the, the full flat moon. Right. Okay. Otherwise, they could be on the back side of it that's not, well, the same side always faces us, but it'll interrupt mm-hmm. uh, radio communication. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, anyhow, uh, let's see. What else did I do? Uh, in the K-State game on yeah. Saturday, it was kind of cool. Uh, for South Dakota, their featured running back, uh, a guy named Travis Tice, uh, number five. Did you happen to notice him? He had, he had a 
few pretty good runs. Um, he's a, a cousin of mine. Oh, wow. Wow. Really? Yeah. Uh, he's uh, second, third, third. I believe he would he would be the son of my dad's first cousin. Okay. Um, however, me and this guy grew up. We were more like first cousins. My my dad's okay. My dad's mom, my grandma on that side. She's the second oldest out of fourteen kids. Oh, oh Jesus wow. Christ! And so <laughs> it's one of those things where my dad has some aunts and uncles that he's older than mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. his grandma kept having kids after he was born. And uh, so, as a result, he's got a lot of first cousins who are closer to my age. Okay. So his dad is like two years older than me, and uh, so yeah, he's uh, he's they're from Pratt, and so it was kind of cool. They did a feature because it was at K State, so this might be the only game that most of his family gets to see him at. And so they gave him like a hundred tickets. Oh, to nice! His family, so they they did a nice like commercial break shot of my my dad's extended family. <laughs> nice. On there. That's and cool. I recognized half of them. They all kind of look like my dad. Yeah. Um, so, uh, thank God I didn't get in that. Right. Um, I finished, uh, rewatching stranger things. Okay. All of them are just four. I, I went through the whole season starting nice. at one, uh, cause too much time passes between seasons. So yep. I couldn't remember what the fuck all happened. And I'd be watching season four going, okay, why, why is this happening? Right. And so I went through it all again. It makes more sense this time, sort of, uh, but still not, <laughs> not much. I mean, you, you got to really suspend some disbelief. Yeah. Uh, I, I started, I kind of went down that wormhole then of uh, looking at shit with Millie Bobby Brown in it, interviews and stuff mm-hmm. and video pieces. Um, she's actually kind of hot. <laughs> Uh, now that she's 18, I can say that. Exactly. Uh, There it is. I believe she's 20, actually, now. Uh, She looks absolutely nothing like you would think from that Mm -hmm. show. Uh, She's British. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Super British, actually. Super. Um, But from what I understand, not maybe not the best person. Oh, She's kind of become a little bit of a diva. Mm -hmm. Uh, Well, I believe it. Yeah. Well, and and I don't think the... She's got the very, very proper, very proper British accent. Oh, yeah. And so, but she's very outspoken. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that on the two roles she's known most for, which is Stranger Things and the Godzilla movies, she doesn't really get to talk uh, <laughs> very much. So she's got to get it all out when she can. When she can, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, she was on an episode of The Hot Ones. Oh, yeah, okay. And uh, was she kind of she, a cunt the whole time? Was she hot? Well, she was. Uh, it was hot. It, yeah. <laughs> she, she certainly did not handle <laughs> super spicy wings all that well. Oh, good. Uh, does anybody? I was surprised that she's she's not a uh, vegan. That actually kind of surprised me about it. Yeah. Wow, good but, point. Um, True. Because when they have vegans on there, they eat the fucking cauliflower wings. Oh, and that's such a puss thing to it do. It is, but they still get all the hot. Okay. So. Yeah, they get all the heat. Is all they do. Okay. Cauliflower but uh, all but right. then, yeah, I watched Rings of Power as well. Mm-hmm. What um, what would what did you think? I, I liked it. Um, I think it's going to be good. Uh, I was a little worried about it going into it because. I had watched some more stuff on YouTube about it, and I stumbled across a, a video entitled uh, Everything Wrong with the Rings of Power Part 8. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Part 8. And, and it had not come out yet. The first episode wow. had not debuted. This was just from the trailers and everything. And But what it is is these fucking assholes that are super into Tolkien yeah. that – are really going on about little details yep. that they get wrong. And and this takes place, I guess this thing covers like the span of four or five books from the history of Middle Earth. Mm-hmm. Right. And so they really have to gloss over a bunch a of shit, like several hundred years. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess hobbits aren't supposed to be around, but they're in the fucking yeah. series. Uh, a lot of people are... It, it is obvious that they went out of their way to be diverse and inclusive. Sure. Um, which a lot of purists are like, no, elves are described as being white and pasty skinned and they have black elves, which I, I guess I get, but if that's the worst fucking thing that happens. So what? That, that's <laughs> yeah. the worst. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, the, the, and the guy that. I, the, I'm not one of the, the guys who's super into the books, so. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Right. Uh, you can't really ruin this story for me because I don't know what it's supposed to be. <laughs> right. So. right. Well, as long as they're not changing major plot items. Yeah. Right. right. Uh, I did think it was a little weird when Optimus Prime showed up. Yeah. That, it, that was I, I pretty know. trippy. Uh, I did think that it would have been so great if once, once Tolkien was an established uh, author that people would have just accepted whatever he wrote, if he would just from time to time – 
throw in there a very, very crude line. Just like I want him to throw in something about the appearance of elf pussy <laughs> and, <laughs> and how it must look different than standard <laughs> pussy. It's horizontal. And, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Because there's a point in there where when she's swimming and she like perceives that there's some sort of threat around and she pulls her knife out. And we don't know where she got it from because she didn't have it when she was swimming. And so I made the statement, well, clearly she's pulled that out of her strangely shaped elf pussy. And uh, I really wish Tolkien would have put that in there. Yeah, it, that's what it does, that's Jerry. So I wish you could go back and edit books like you can like Wikipedia. Yeah. yeah, it sheathes blades, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Yeah, it's made of leather. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we got an excellent episode to get to this week. But before we do that, we're going to give a shout-out to our sponsor, Manscaped.com. That's right, fellas. I mean, think about it. If you ask yourself, at any point, where else would you rather be than here? <laughs> right. Uh, I'm guessing your answer would be, I'd rather be knee-deep in some top-tier stink. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. But uh, good luck doing that when your fucking crotch is a mess. <laughs> That's right. 100%. That's why they came out with the Lawnmower 4.0. Uh, that helps you groom the downstairs area, mm -hmm. and especially around those elves with blades shoved up their pussy. That's actually That's a right. good way to get nice and close, and so you don't, you know, move that thing around very much. And it also doesn't cut you, and that's the most important thing whenever you're down there doing your business. In fact, this is not confirmed, but I believe the Lawnmower 4.0 runs on both uh, lithium-ion batteries as well as uh, Elven Magic. Right, exactly. So <laughs> exactly. that's what keeps it from cutting you yeah and the uh the the adjustable led lights uh that's mm -hmm. that's definitely elf power right yes there. that's that's yeah. done with the uh the light from the silmarillions right uh -huh. so uh <laughs> or the silmarils right I'm sorry and a docking station so you can put that on your bathroom counter so everybody knows that you've got mm -hmm. trimmed nuts which is always very important just like an elf that's right they also have other products like the cologne uh refined which is an excellent product that uh, both jeremy and myself have used before they also have your ball toner and ball deodorant. It is still hot outside, kids, and you don't want to smell like Famunda down under. So you don't want to when it's cold out either. That's true. It's it's just going to be as bad. You're just going to be putting on more layers, and it's just going to sweat even more. So definitely uh, invest in the products from Manscaped.com. Go check them out. Use the promo code Sidelines. Get twenty percent off of your order. That gets you uh, twenty percent off and free shipping. And that lets them know that we are doing these commercials word for word. It helps you out. It helps us out. Out and it lets Manscaped know that we're awesome. So Damn right. That's right. Thank you very much to Manscaped.com. Okay. Well, we got some news that we're going to let Fred participate in. Woo! Yeah. Most of it. Most of it. We're I mean, going to allow you to speak, Fred. <laughs> that's right. Finally. Otherwise, you're, you've been talking this yeah, whole I'm time. Just, Your mic is off, though. Yeah, yeah a lot pretty, of people don't know that. Pretty I much. I was a pretty face. Yeah. That's it. Uh, turns out that uh, Jennifer turns Lopez. Out you're not. Yeah, yeah, turns out. Great. Jennifer Lopez marries Ben Affleck. I thought they got married before, but I guess they only did this one time. Is they, that right? They were engaged one time. Okay, and then uh, who broke it off? Any, I, any I think she did. I'm going to take a bet. I'm going to say she did. Jeremy? I, I think it was him, actually. Was it really? I thought it was. I thought he met somebody else. He's big for meeting other women on sets of movies. Okay. Probably I, when he did I think Batman. Yeah. I think he's had long-term relationships with just about every hot chick he's ever done a movie with, except... For Gal Gadot in in Batman. Oh, wow. yeah, he couldn't pull that. I'm Batman. <clears throat> well, and she's married, so right. But that doesn't seem to matter. Like, he was the worst Batman. Uh, he definitely was the worst. You Batman guys think so? Time. I oh, do. Yes. Hell, fucking yeah. Who are you gonna say is worse? Oh, George Clooney. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. yeah, George Clooney right. was a shit fucking Batman. Yeah. I actually kind of liked. I, I I guess okay. I went into it with the idea that I would fucking hate Ben Affleck. And I didn't hate him near as much as I thought. Um, I thought he played a pretty good Bruce Wayne, which is what he is most of the time. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's go with Ben Affleck or Val, Ki Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Okay. Uh, ben Affleck or... Um, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Michael, Michael Keaton all Keaton. fucking day. He's okay. the OG. And then, uh, which, by the way, at the time, to me, was the weirdest fucking choice. I, I <laughs> still remember when they announced Michael Keaton would be Batman. And I'm like... Mr. Mom yeah. is, is going to be multiplicity. <laughs> that was, that came later. <laughs> oh, way later. It? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. But Johnny Dangerously is, <laughs> yeah. is going to be gung, gung ho. Yeah. Is going to be Batman. Yeah. And then last but not least, Christian Bale. 
I think Christian Bale's Christian the Batman. Bale. That's that's the Batman for me. Uh, He's the you, best one. You lost me at last but least because what about Adam West? Oh, uh, I guess Adam West counts. Or that's Robert the Pattinson. best Batman. Okay. And yeah, this Robert is... Pattinson is way worse than Ben Affleck. Nah. Robert Pat- oh, Jesus Christ. He's horrible. I don't know. Take your fucking emo bullshit somewhere else, eh? <laughs> that's all Batman is, is emo. Not, it's not supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the uh, the Twilight kid? Yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck that yeah, guy. He's the new one. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, go sparkle in the sunlight somewhere, dick. Exactly. Um, all right. I still say that he only took that role because in all those years of playing a vampire, he never once got to turn into a bat. Exactly. <laughs> <That's it>. Full <laughs> commit. That's right. Uh, next one, we're going to get to uh, Serena Williams will retire from tennis after losing, I can't believe, I, I think what was the second round of the U.S. Open. Um, the thing that I wanted to talk about more than anything was there was a whole bunch of people holding up signs at this particular tournament that had, uh, it said greatest female athlete of all time, but female was marked off. And then there was also a couple of ESPN analysts that had her in the top five athletes of all time. Uh, and I remember one of those particular athletes on like, like number three on one of the lists was Babe Ruth. So I think we need to clarify what fucking attributes are you qualifying athlete or best athletes mm-hmm. of all time? Are you talking about a career? What are you talking about? Because if you're talking about the best athletes of all time and not having Bo Jackson on your fucking list, you're absolutely insane. So I think it's bullshit. I will definitely give her the best female athlete of all time. I think she's the most dominant tennis tennis player of all time, 100%. If you're, if you're talking about the most dominant individual in their particular sport sure yeah i would imagine she's probably the top i i can't think of another athlete who is as dominant in their individual sport but her sport is not tennis women's tennis right um she has said many many times that no the women cannot compete with the men their their athleticism is just uh, in fact, that that was what one of the things that made her so good was that she hired one of the lower ranked male pro players as her practice partner. He wasn't making any money because he couldn't place, you know, in in any of these tournaments. But he was a ranked professional, uh, so she helped him supplement his income by making him her playing partner. And I believe she said in the entire time that they played together that she won two games, mm-hmm. not matches. Games. games. Wow. <laughs> um, but basically, it's kind of like in that that uh, that movie, The Rookie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, when all those kids were taking BP off of a fucking major league pitcher, of yeah. course they went into their high school games <laughs> and kicked ass then. <laughs> it, it made her better, yeah. a better player. Yeah. Um, but no, they, they say that if you took her attributes at the height of her career and – translated them over, she would be somewhere in the middle of the college men's players. There you go. Not the pros, the college. And I think I think that goes for a majority of sports. I don't take anything away from her. I thought her career was absolutely amazing. Dom, as dominant as she was in uh, women's, women's professional tennis, um, it was really exciting to see her, actually. I would have liked to see her go out and win her, her championship, but it didn't happen. I, I mean, she had a baby. She's getting older. Uh, it's really tough yeah, to compete at that level. Old. Yeah. She's 40 fucking years old. Exactly. I mean, that's to still be a ranked player at that point, let alone you know have even been thought of as having a chance. But no, she got completely dominated. She did. It was it was a close match, the one that she ended up losing. It went to uh, three sets, but well, she kept pushing it into Deuce, but she was down five two in that yeah, match. I, I mean, true. she just kept prolonging the inevitable, right? Okay, uh, moving on to the fun, fun stuff. Like we were talking about earlier, college football has started. Uh, the regular season kicked off this week with uh, West Virginia versus Pitt, which was actually a really entertaining game. Um, I didn't see it. it was actually very entertaining. Uh, they, That's uh, what you said. Pitt, I'm hearing that for the second Pitt, time now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pitt, <laughs> Pitt ended up winning that game uh, late in the uh, fourth quarter. They ended up getting a pick six uh, when uh, West Virginia was driving. So it was uh, it was a nail biter all the way up to the very very end. And you had Saturday. You had Saturday football. I guess K State won. Good job. Yep. Pitt is in the ACC. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, and then you had uh, Brent Venables, the head coach for the Oklahoma Sooners, won his very first game in a dominant performance against UTEP. Um, and a lot of people are like, yeah, but they normally always kick the shit out of UTEP. It's not just that. He is a defensive-minded head coach, which Oklahoma has never been a defensive-minded 
football I team. I believe. Let me double check this here. Uh, let's see here. Du, 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 du. Um, his career, because I believe he was an assistant under Bill Snyder at K State at one point. Brent Venables. Yeah, uh, he very well could have been. Yep. Uh, began his career uh, at Kansas State University as a graduate assistant in 1996. There you go. There you and go. yeah, he was. Uh, I believe was considered to be their defensive coordinator before he went to Oklahoma. There you go. But yeah, he was he was a he's a defensive mastermind. Absolutely. So that's that was really nice to see. They held uh, UTEP in a defense like Oklahoma just that was non-existent. Held him to, I believe, like 15 points, something like that, and then kicked the shit out of him. So that was nice to see if you're an Oklahoma yeah. fan. Um, but uh, That really has been Oklahoma's, the bane of their existence it has. for the last several years. It really has. If they can't score 70 points in a game, they really don't have a fucking chance. That's right. That's right. We had our first upset, unfortunately, uh, the Utah Utes, who, are, who were ranked uh, in the top 10 for the first time in their entire uh, college football um, history, end up going down to Florida and the Gators – kind of put a whooping on them. So uh, it was a little bit closer. I, don't think, I, I think that was the first time they've ever been ranked. Uh, they were uh, ever, that was the highest ranking, their highest oh, preseason okay. ranking. I was going to uh, say, I history. think they went to a uh, BCS bowl once. Uh, they may have, but um, as far as preseason ranking, this pre-season was the ra- highest okay, they've okay. ever been in their history. So it was a big game for them. However, uh, Florida ended up coming out and beating them in uh, Gainesville. So there was that. And that were uh, Colin Kaepernick. Maybe he come out of Utah. And I thought didn't, uh, uh, what's his nuts? Uh, Mitch Trubisky. Oh, I don't know. I don't think Mitch Trubisky did, but I could be wrong. Let's find out. Go for it. Google it while I give the last one and the most important one. Delaware ends up beating Navy. I saw that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. So yeah. So happy, happy that football has now been uh, kicked off. Anchors away, motherfuckers. That's right. Is that a Navy reference for getting kicked out, beaten by Delaware? I, that that's their fight song. Okay, Anger's Way. Okay, that's that's the Navy. Okay, theme song. Nice. Uh, did you end up finding out Mitch Trubisky went to college? Wor- uh, no, Mitch Trubisky went to North Carolina. That's what I thought. I didn't think he was there. Um, but anyways, before we get to uh, the fun stuff, last but not least, the NFL season gets kicked off this week. Boys, mm-hmm. that's right. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Thursday, Thursday night football starts with a and Kaepernick went to Nevada. Okay, there we who go. am I thinking? Is it Smith? I don't know. Geno Smith? I don't no, know. Uh, You're Alex not, Smith. Okay, maybe uh, you can keep googling over there. Uh, but the NFL starts uh, this Thursday night with the Buffalo Bills at the Los Angeles Rams. From what we've heard, uh, Matthew Staff. Boom. That's Boom, Alex Smith, I told you, you <laughs> motherfucker. I fucking told you. I know my shit. I know it. Okay, all right, good for you. Fuck with me again. Okay. Matthew Stafford, while he's been battling a uh, shoulder injury, he is going to be let go. I guess he, he's going to be. Uh, he, he's going to have full range of motion. He's going to be a hundred percent against the Buffalo Bills. Who you got in this game, Jeremy, to kick off the season? I think the Bills. Uh, I'm kind of going with you on that. Yeah. How about, I, how about you, Fred? I'm going Rams all the way. Okay. All right. All the I way. I believe the Bills are the preseason favorite to win the Super Bowl. I think not? so too. Yeah. I think so too. And if they if they aren't, then it is a very close uh, yeah. deal with the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, but it is in LA. Uh, I still I still want the Bills, man. But uh, out of all of the 32 NFL teams, who is going to be the worst NFL team of 2022? Houston. We have a problem. Or Cleveland. Okay. Because they aren't going to have a quarterback for most of the time. I, I don't think it's going to be Cleveland. Or the Jets. That's where I'm at. I think it's going to, again, it's going to be the New York Jets. Even after even after being, I think they were the worst team last year, too. Probably, but they didn't get the number one pick, did they? No, I think maybe. It was either Jacksonville, Detroit, or, or New York. I think it was Detroit. No, Detroit did not get the first pick. Well, then why did you bring them up? I think it was Jacksonville. But I, I think Jacksonville may actually be improved this year, so I, I'm going to say that I think it's going to be Who's the their New quarterback Jets. this year? Who? Jacksonville. Jacksonville, same one, Trevor Lawrence. Oh, is he still? Yeah, he's still there. Okay. Yep. So what about you, Fred? Who do you think? Well, I'm not going to lie. I was going to pick the Bills to lose until you just said that they're going to go all the way. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess the Jets. There you go, the Jets. <laughs> J-E-T-S, sucks, sucks, sucks. 
Okay, that is the sports for this week. Now we're just going to keep on moving right along with uh, real shit or horse shit this week. Uh, because this is a holiday weekend, we're going to shorten her up and have as much fun as we possibly can in the time that we have. Uh, so the very first one for real shit or horse shit is real shit or horse shit. When a girl hits on me at work, I can't wait to tell my spouse when I get home. Uh, this is horse shit for me. Okay. Um Okay, here's here's my mindset. <laughs> uh, I have actually just kind of, for most of my life, uh, taken the mindset that uh, there are women in this world and the overwhelming majority of them want nothing to do with me. Sure. So if a girl was hitting on me at work, uh, I wouldn't know it. Uh, <laughs> I would just assume she was being pleasant and, you know, I... I, I do everything that I can to not make it a more uncomfortable situation. <laughs> and uh, if at all possible, just due to the fact that it's kind of prevalent in my work that sexual harassment shit gets thrown around a lot, um, I just tend to keep to myself at work. Sure. Uh, I, I'm going to go. Uh, this is also horse shit for myself as well. Um, you don't tell that to your fucking spouse. I mean, I know that there yeah. are some guys that are just like, hey, there's a girl that hit on me at work today. And like... Uh, good for fucking you. I'm your wife, you stupid asshole. Why are you telling me this shit? But I know that there are guys that do that to try to gain like some notoriety of like, hey, if I if I decided leverage. to, I could I could leave you for this person. I, yeah, don't I get do that. Suspected shit. of enough shit. Yeah, at home. Right. If I ever left my wife, it wouldn't be for another woman. It'd be uh, for another man. It would it would just be to be left the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I want is company. <laughs> How about you, Fred? Uh, and I agree with Jeremy. I mean, it is horse shit um, as far as uh, telling a spouse and everything. But at work, I'm just too nice to everybody. Yeah. In other positions, I'm just I'm just friendly, mm -hmm. you know? So I can't tell if they're hitting on me. Okay. But per se, if we're at Disney World, mm -hmm. and I'm the same person. I'm nice. I'm friendly. She could be flirting with me, and I don't know it, but my spouse is there beside me. Uh-huh. Or girlfriend, whatever you want to call yeah, it. that's what it is. And then we both make fun of her for hitting on me. Oh, okay. We don't, she doesn't care. She's just like, whatever, you know? She's like, well, I'm going to go flirt with this guy then. Go ahead. And maybe we'll get free popcorn. There you go. <laughs> the, the thing I think that a lot of people, that, the sign that I miss the most, because a lot of people say that when a woman is flirting with you, that, you know, she laughs and giggles at the things you say. Except I'm fucking hilarious. Uh, of course she is. People who don't like me laugh at shit that I say. So yeah, uh, that's I'm, I'm not going to notice that. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, she's not flirting. I'm just killing. Uh, Very good. That one. Down. That's right. Need to write it down. Uh, all right. Next one. Real shit or horse shit? I change my navigation to a man's voice because I never take directions from a woman. Horse shit. Really? Horse shit. <laughs> okay. The the British Siri or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call her yeah. is way sexy when you're wrong. <laughs> okay. Recalculating. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> I don't want no guy telling me where to go and what to do. Yeah. If this was if, if this is obviously horse shit for me because like if if you switch it to the guy's voice, it's almost like he's talking down to you as like like you're stupid for doing certain shit. Like you missed your fucking turn, asshole. Turn the fuck around. So yeah, this is horse shit for me, Jeremy. Um, yeah, I don't change it mostly because I don't know how. <laughs> uh, remember how we talked last week about how I've never changed the background on a phone or a computer that I've ever had. <laughs> the same thing here. Um, I. I don't know that this is the voice I would go with, but I wouldn't necessarily need it to be a man's voice. Uh, it would just be nice to have a pleasant female voice in the car as opposed to the one that's usually talking over the fucking navigation <laughs> voice as it is because she thinks that what she's saying is far more important and interesting. Because, <laughs> yeah, that chick at fucking work that you're bitching about who I don't know is definitely high on my fucking priority list definitely. as opposed to knowing where I got to turn. Right. Uh, all right. We all agree on these. All right. Um, now, okay. 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 Uh -oh. Side note. Sidebar. If you could change it to anybody's voice, oh. whose voice would you put? Oh, oh shit. God. You got to spring that on me last minute. Like, uh, I th Polly Shore. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. That's sure. a good, good one, one right there. 
No turning left. With, with juice. the juice. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> How about you? How about you, Jeremy? Who would you pick? Salvador Perez. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you how to get there. Spot on. No, yeah. Well, you're going to go down here, man. And you're going to you're going to lay on it. And you're going to go and boom. And two and a half miles. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. How about you, Fred? You figure out one out? No, that's so tough. Like, I mean, Gal Gadot's got a great voice. Yeah. Um, when she's not singing, yeah, oh, she's not gonna sing directions to I, me. How about like Kenny from South Park? No, okay, no, I mean, you guys went with dudes, there's gotta be a girl in here. Oh, sure, um, okay, so, Whitney Houston, no, Roseanne Barr, yeah, uh, Roseanne Barr now or 1984? 84, 84, <laughs> <laughs> Svelte domestic goddess, <laughs> okay. Uh, next one, uh, real shit or horse shit. I will fall asleep while watching TV and then get pissed off when someone changes the channel. <laughs> Son of a bitch. This, this has to be a fucking age thing. Like, yeah. like I'm not going to lie. This story just came up Saturday. <laughs> uh, we go to bed and we turn on a show to watch together, whether it's new girl or just a, a random movie. And I'm out in four minutes every night. She's up 15, 20, 30. Sometimes she watches the whole episode or whatnot. <laughs> she smacked me the other night, last week sometime, and it's like, you're snoring. I'm like, How can I be snoring? I'm watching the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled over and kept snoring. <laughs> yep, yep, I hear you. <laughs> so, this is real shit. Real shit. Yeah, this is some real shit. I do that. I don't know why. I, I kind of can do the same thing. I can fall asleep, and then, I, but there is something to where it's my brain is still processing the information from whatever TV show that we're on to the point to where I know that whenever my wife turns it off, I will wake up and turn it the fuck back right. on. Same kind of thing when they change the channel. Exact same thing. Uh, I, if it's something I've watched a lot, like Big Bang Theory or Friends. Yep. I feel like I'm dreaming the episode. Yes. And she's like, you were snoring, but I'm like, no, I know what was going on. Exactly. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Um, I guess in the bed, it doesn't really affect me at all, like in the living room. Yeah. Because I don't fall asleep watching TV in the living room. But like in bed, um, I kind of wish she would change the channel. Uh, I usually fall asleep watching YouTube videos. Okay. Okay. And okay, you know how when a video ends... Uh, if you don't do anything, it'll go like 10 seconds and then put it on the video Whatever. of its choosing. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I have a weird fucking YouTube algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to say five times, five different times in the last month, I have woken up because my wife never shut the TV off because she also fell asleep uh, to the same fucking documentary about the ancient Sumerians. <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Whatever I started watching had nothing to do with that, but my algorithm will just fucking take me there. Uh -huh. And I wake up in about the same spot in the documentary every time. <laughs> uh, so subliminally, I think I probably know a lot about them, <laughs> or at least half about them. Absolutely. Are you up for being hypnotized? Yeah. Let's um, find out. For sure. I don't know that I could be hypnotized, but really? yeah, I would. Okay. Interesting. That'd be fun on the it show. It would. It would be fun. Would it? We gotta, <laughs> we gotta get. We gotta get Jake the hit. The it's not like Sandman's coming in, right? It, uh, it'll be like an actual hypnotist, right? And they're expensive. They oh, they are. I, fuck, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I never actually looked into it. <laughs> I didn't know. Maybe you knew the rates, the going mm. rates for a hypnot hypnotist. Uh, all right, next one. Uh, real shit or horse shit? I will spend thousands of dollars on a truck and never use it to do truck things. I sure shit won't. If that is Scotty German, no, that's all you've owned is a truck. Yeah, but I still do shit with what? it. What? I've gone mudding. I've gone mudding. Well, how many count? How many times count? I, nah, like a whole bunch. I was in high school. A whole bunch in college. Same thing. I don't do it as much anymore. Now I have a. I have a smaller truck. That's not truck things. I have an all-wheel drive station wagon, and I can go <laughs> boom in that. Okay. Yeah, you don't do truck things. <laughs> okay. Truck things is either you've hauling, never hauled a trailer, hauling or yeah, pulling yeah. a trailer. I pulled a boat. I pulled a Jeep one time with my buddy behind it. Are you back to high school again? No, this was in college. 
was he was he stuck or broke down? Yeah, he was broke Doesn't down. Doesn't count. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you actually can do that with, with a car. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So I guess this is real shit. For you me. don't do any truck things. I don't get a. I don't get like a truck, like a regular truck that's stock. Put big ass mud tires, a huge ass lift kit, and all this other shit on it, and only drive it on pavement. No, I that's actually that. not. Uh, that's not truck things. Um, that's douchebag things. That, that's people who should have just got a fucking car. Yeah, exactly. Because um, you're not using it as a truck. Yeah. I so want... I, I miss my pickup. Yep. Uh, I've got a project coming up where I'm going to need to go get some plywood from the fucking store. And like a fucking sissy boy, I'm going to have to have them cut it up for <laughs> me there. The car. Before, so I can get it in the fucking backseat <laughs> of my car, yeah. Uh, well, anyways... And uh, they never cut it square. Fred Never. has a big lifted Jeep with mud tires on it. Uh, real shit or horseshit for you. Yeah, so I've never owned a truck, and I feel like I need a truck. I have a pile of fucking trees and bushes and I whatever I cut down in my yard. I need a truck. Okay. I have to borrow my coworkers. Like, no, but yeah, my big lifted Jeep, since we moved to Wichita, does not see mud. Mm-hmm. And it makes me really, really sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Back home in, in southwest Kansas, it, it was in the river every day. Yeah, There's plenty of fucking wheat fields around here, dude. Oh. Go tear them up. Let's go. Farmers love that. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> they, they do. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, the only truck I've ever owned, I, uh, I used very much as a truck. Okay. I hauled shit from Lowe's. I uh, hauled shit off to the dump. Uh, that's about all that I really used it for. Okay. I, I broke down just like a truck should. <laughs> <laughs> and then a dude that knew more about automotive mm-hmm. technology and automotive stuff came over and bought it from you and, and then fixed it right yep. before he left. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Fuck that guy. Yep. <laughs> Actually, that guy gave me full price for that fucking thing, so good for him. Good for him. Uh, last one, real shit or horse shit. When I, dry, I'm sorry, when I drop an ice cube onto the floor, I don't pick it up. I kick it under the refrigerator. Horse shit. Yep. Horse Okay. Yeah. yeah, definitely horse shit for me. I have carpet in my kitchen. Oh, yeah. So, I didn't even think about that. I got Berber carpet. And it's, wow. Uh, How old is your uh, house? I, yeah. It, uh, it, not as old as you are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is it built? 97? Like, yeah. Uh, no, my house, um, there's a story to my house. Can I tell it? Yes, let's sure, go. Sure. Uh, my house is a fairly... Like I say, it's not a terribly old house, and it lives in a. Uh, and, and it, well, it lives. It, <laughs> it was it built. Really live. It was uh, <laughs> built in a in a upper middle class, you know, housing addition in the suburbs. And uh, the people who originally owned it, um, okay, when we bought it, it had sat abandoned for three years. Uh, what had happened was the family who originally owned it. There was a husband and a wife. The husband had a son from a previous marriage who was college age. Uh, One summer, he came home from college with his girlfriend, and uh, apparently he wasn't around. Uh, Wife comes home early from work, finds husband in bed with son's girlfriend. Oh, no! She proceeds... Wife takes a baseball bat and just slams the fuck out of the house. Uh... Moot packs up all her shit, tears up the house, packs up all her shit, moves out. They get divorced. House goes into foreclosure. Uh, house and you know they they repo it and they try to sell it for several years on the market like it was, but nobody wants to buy all fucking torn up house. Uh, so the bank that had the the loan on it, um, they required a certain type of loan. For somebody to buy it, mm-hmm. uh, uh, several people had made full price offers on it, but they couldn't qualify for the right type of loan that couldn't go back on the seller for anything wow. after closing. Um, we finally qualified for that. But basically, in the meantime, they hired a crew of what I can only assume were drunk monkeys <laughs> uh, to put in, to paint all the walls, put in new carpet, and they put in the cheapest shit. <laughs> and the fucking work that they did to patch all the holes in this concrete. There were places where there was, you know, uh, sheetrock mud that they didn't even sand. And then oh, they just painted Jesus. over it with, with the, you know, $4 a gallon fucking paint that if you blow on it, it'll scuff. <laughs> that kind of shit. And God. they put, I, we've replaced, we've painted just about every room in the house except for the kitchen and living room. Uh, we've replaced some of the carpet, uh, you know, the basement, I completely redid. I've redone all the bathrooms. 
uh, the bedrooms, all that shit. But uh, we're still waiting to do the kitchen and the living room. And the kitchen and dining room, I guess, are they've still got that. Well, the dining room has the same carpet as the living room. And the kitchen has this shitty fucking Berber carpet yeah. in it. And uh, like the, the vacuum cleaner will catch one and like <laughs> snag a whole fucking oh, line. Yeah. Oh, God. And just tear it up. It, it's the it. cheapest shit. But we're still deciding whether we're going to stay in that house or fix it up to sell it. So we can't decide what we're going to do with the kitchen just yet. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah so this is this is horseshit for me, too. Uh, I, I don't like it when that happens. It bugs the shit out of me if I know that there's ice just melting on my floor. It pisses me off. Uh, two reasons. Yeah, well, your dogs won't let that happen either. That's that's my number one reason. They'll knock yeah. it underneath there, so I'll have to go and get it out from underneath. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. they won't leave the fucking fridge alone until it comes out. It's true. They know shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my number one reason. The, the dogs get the ice cubes. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, I've been in construction too long in my life, and to know that water damage does to floors, mm-hmm. that's not going to happen in my house. There you go. So... Okay, uh, generally we would have a bad advice with uh, Jeremy this week. We are not going to do that because it's a holiday episode. And right. so we're going to... too serious of a topic. It's too serious, it way too serious of a topic. So we're going to move any on. any good news from Jeremy today? Yeah, do we got good news? No. Good news, we got the day off. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, Jesus that good Christ, advice? everything is... Good. Everything is fucking horrible. Yeah. Uh, pick up your fucking ice cubes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you that's go. it. Uh, don't fuck your son's girlfriend when you're married. <laughs> yeah, that's another yeah, good that's one. That's a good one. All right. But now we get to move on to overrated or underrated, uh, kind of self-explanatory. But if you do have any suggestions for any of uh, overrated, underrated, or questions of Perguntas, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or uh, TikTok. That's fine as well. Uh, first one is going to be this week. Overrated or underrated, foul-tipped baseballs directly into the cup of the catcher. Underrated as hell. Underrated. All the slow motion videos of that shit happening to where you can see the facial reaction of the catcher through the mask just going, oh, is fucking great. (laughs) Fred? (laughs) Underrated. That that is uh, free research and development. (laughs) 100 so, percent oh those companies just love those and uh-huh. so do i yeah how about you jeremy yeah i'm gonna say underrated too i love this shit. <laughs> as long as it's not my catcher yeah right uh and or my nuts yeah <laughs> i i saw a guy it, it didn't wasn't a foul tip but i played against a guy that uh a guy like fucking threw in a slider and skipped it in mm-hmm. and he wasn't wearing a cup. <laughs> which oh, no. I can't oh. imagine playing catcher. How do you not, when your coach is like, yeah, you play catcher today, how are you not like, yeah, no, I don't have a fucking cup. <laughs> I, that, I would rather go out there without a fucking mask. Yeah. Yeah. And no cup. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Yeah, th- that's no. no kidding. I think that's actually one of the very few positions on a baseball field where you need to wear one. All of the others are kind of by choice, but that one you need to have. Um, oddly enough, the uh, the the uh, pitcher that threw that was um, uh, Robertson. Uh, Nate, Nate, Nate Robertson. Robertson. Yep. Yep. He was the one who skipped that pitch in. So way to it, go. It was humming. <laughs> <laughs> it was moving. He was at, at that time. He was probably throwing high eighties. Okay. There you go. That's that's so, getting that's uh, that's you know fireballs. You, you don't want to get thrown into a fucking have a ball thrown in your balls at that speed. I just want to, like, let's get all of us go somewhere see how fast we can throw. Okay. I want to I know how fast uh, three average guys throw. I'm, uh, you know? I'm, you played baseball. You've played sports. Yeah. I'm a drunk. Like, yeah. I, I want to know what we throw like. I bet you I'm probably high 70s, low 80s, probably. I have no idea. That's what I'm I don't guessing. know what I would be anymore. I haven't actually thrown a yeah. baseball, and I don't know how fucking long. I, I know that I did one of those radar guns at a county fair once, probably 15 years ago, 16, 17. Um, not near as high as I thought. Yeah. I was high 60s. Oh, okay. I mean, oh, okay, I see it. Yep. I was guessing 50s for me. I have no idea. Yeah. Probably a good guess. Uh, next one overrated or underrated? Fondue. Underrated, yeah. Cheese or chocolate? All, all, everything. All. So uh, my girlfriend took me to my first actual fondue restaurant in July. Okay, down in Disney. Oh, who'd, who'd have thought? Yeah, down uh, Disney. But it's a it's a three course meal. So the first one is a cheese, mm-hmm. and okay. it brings out all kinds of shit to dip in cheese. I don't remember. 
Second one is your meats, and it's a broth, but it's still fondue. Mm -hmm. So you dip your meats or veggies or whatever in your broth. And then last but least is the chocolate. So it's a whole meal of dipping shit into warm shit. Okay. My favorite. All right. Is that... But double dip, dipping is off limits, right? Oh, God, no. You, I mean, you can't not double dip. Oh, Otherwise, man. you only get one piece because it's a whole pot for yeah. two of us anyways. And overrated. Right, right. Uh, yeah. you can't, overrated. You can't <laughs> overrated. dip something, take a bite of that piece, and then dip that same yeah. piece. If you can, uh, if you can double they're dip. All, oh, I don't give a shit. They're all bite-sized pieces. Yeah, right? they're all bite-sized oh, pieces. Okay. And it, it's soaked in Like, you okay. dunk it in there. Okay. Then, yeah. okay. It sounds delicious, but I'm going to go overrated. I'd, I'd much rather have it cooked on a grill. Jeremy? I got I got multiple answers to this. Okay. If it's chocolate, it's overrated. Because, unfortunately, the only things that they really dip into the chocolate, as far as I've ever seen, is fruit. And I don't like fruit. Okay. Except Ooh, JP. Ooh, you need... <laughs> yeah, JP is uh, what good is for it? Angel food cake? <laughs> yeah. Angel. Oh, can you do? Do they have cake to do? Yeah. Oh. That one's really good. Go for I it. I retract my previous <laughs> statement. <laughs> I, only have, I only have one answer then. Underrated. Uh, I didn't know I could do cake. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've just seen people do like strawberries and shit, and I hate strawberries. Yeah, right. Yeah, but at Golden Corral, <laughs> yeah, overrated. Oh. Overrated. Do fuck. not go to the chocolate no, fountain. Don't do it. It's full of fingers. I, uh, right. When was the last time you were at a Golden Corral? It's my niece's favorite. So every year for her birthday. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I haven't been to one in probably ten years. Same. Uh, all right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Tailgating at a funeral. Brett? I mean, this is... I'm underrated for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to be buried, or I guess not buried. I want to be sent on my own like a Viking. Oh, yeah. Which is now legal in Maine. Oh, so shit. So I'll, prob I'll probably be buried in Maine. Okay. And you better fucking party at my funeral. It's a celebration of life. Yeah. So I want to be celebrated. Yeah. This is, Get out there, have fun. Yes, this is underrated as shit. I want the same thing. I'm going to be buried next to Fred. Boom. Yeah. Probably boom. the same ship. Uh, that's right. Probably right. We probably did something together. <laughs> we we crashed. We we plane crashed, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. When when Fred yeah. just yeah. said he does not want to be buried, <laughs> he, he wants to be floated out. Yeah. We'll float yeah, out we'll together. Out, shot at an air with 97 arrows. Yeah. Nobody on, can hit it. On fire. Yeah. I want that. <laughs> How about that's, you? that's one of the better scenes, by the way, in uh, Vikings. No, in uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, when they put the guy out to sea, and, nobody can hit and, it. And the one, the uncle, the dumb fucking Stark uncle that can't hit it with yep. the flaming arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Go ahead, Jeremy. I mean, I don't go to a lot of funerals. My my point is, you know, at at that point. You're of no use to me. Get <laughs> get lost, deadbeat. I don't give a fuck what happens to you. Well, you're um, reminded of mine. All right. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, if I had to go to one, I would say, yeah, I'd fucking party it up. That's right. You're going to mine. You know that, right? I'm If I'm not in jail or in court. <laughs> okay. Or, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Gonna so kill that's it. how we go. Yeah, that's, yeah, how, we that's go. how we go. He's going to kill us both, Fred. Nope. Okay. Nope, not both of you. <laughs> Just one. Oh, I survived the crash. <laughs> I, I, okay. Listen, I'm not. I can't predict the future. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just. I can say for sure. I'm not going to kill two people. <laughs> okay. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Chinese fire drills. I wanted to do one this weekend. <laughs> In the middle of Manhattan football <laughs> traffic yeah. after the game, I wanted wanted to do one. You got plenty of time. Yeah, you do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, when necessary, I think they're over or underrated. Okay. If it's just a random Tuesday at a fucking normal parking light, stoplight, whatever. Yeah. Get out of my way. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm with you. But but if you're in traffic, and it and it's a long wait. Yeah. They can be fun. Yep. So I'm I'm gonna go underrated as well. Jeremy. Well, at my house, we just call these fire drills. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're racist. <laughs> Jeez, Scotty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, bad. that was Everybody actually <laughs> in one of my first ever stand-up bits. I talked about how we got a new car, our a little SUV, and it had all the features we both wanted. It, for me, I loved how it had the V8 and the four-wheel drive, and for her, the doors open really wide, which is great because it makes the fire drills go smoother. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, anyways... They, uh, okay, as a kid, I always thought 
these were fucking hilarious to do. Yeah. Um, because I figured people would see us doing it and be like, oh my God, what the fuck? Uh, can I just say something to the younger people who are listening? If you ever, uh, by the way, in case you don't know what this is, this is where you're stopped in traffic or at a stoplight or whatever. Everybody in the car gets out, runs around the car and gets back in. Um, it's not really a fire drill. So if you're practicing fire safety, this is really not a part of it. Right. Uh, I just feel the need to say that because you know That's I'm good, responsible. Good warning. Um, but uh, the adults around who you think you're really getting so good, they know what you're up to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Every time that I see somebody do this now, I'm just like, knock it the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> in, but in normal traffic, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just whatever. I, in, in time, anytime I see kids fucking around in a car thinking they're just really getting people. Right. You know, and it's like, dude, been there, done that. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you're not coming up with anything new. Yeah. Right. All right. Last one. Overrated or underrated? Prostate exams. You know, it is Proctember. <laughs> oh, is it? It's, it's uh, I believe, Men's Prostate I Health was, Awareness I Month. It was, I thought it was Proctober. It would sound better, better. Would but sound better. Uh, yeah. I believe it's actually September. Well, and no. uh, even if it's not, remember, Manscaped donates a portion of every purchase to uh, researching men's medical health issues. There you go. Especially prostate <clears throat> health. That's right. Um, I recently found out that I don't need to do two a week. And uh, <laughs> do a week. Yeah. How did you get away with that? Wow. I listen. I thought you know it would be odd for you know my insurance and stuff. Uh, in the whole time, I mean, for two years, my doctor never once charged me, and I asked him about it. I'm like, what about payment? And so then he started leaving twenty bucks. Uh, <laughs> Shit. Next, uh, wow! Yeah, I need, I need that doctor's number. A couple of weeks ago, uh, he brought in a special specialist <clears throat> to uh, help out, so he told me to dress something nice. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, whatever you got to do to stay safe. That's right. Stay, um, stay healthy. Then I come to find out that uh, they really don't even do them anymore. What? Uh, now they can do they do like an ultrasound, and they can just tell from looking if your prostate's enlarged or not. They don't. They will only do the digit test if they see something abnormal on the ultrasound or on the x-ray. Fucking A. Yeah, we're getting lucky. That's oh, Thank you, science. <laughs> thank you so much, science, for, it, you know, coming out with new shit so me and Fred don't have to experience what the old fucks like Jeremy have to experience. It was, oh, uh, oh what's the fucking guy's name? I don't know. The, Jared from Subway? No, oh. the redneck hick singer... Rodney Carrington. Oh. That talked about how, what what a traumatic experience this is. Because the fact is, is that once you've had a man's finger in your butt, <laughs> you've always had a man's you finger. Always <laughs> that doesn't go away. <laughs> and even though you've heard about this process your whole life, at that point, you're almost wondering if this was just some big elaborate prank. <laughs> Like snipe hunting. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Just to get the pervert. Like, <laughs> like you're going to bend over and suddenly they open the curtain up and there's everybody you've ever known who's like, gotcha. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'll be I'll be honest with mine because that's fucking hilarious. But I'll, I'll be honest. It's it's way underrated. Um, I, I do know that uh, my dad and I haven't said anything about it on the show. Uh, my dad just got recently diagnosed with prostate cancer. Um, and he actually had to go through uh, all of the processes to get it removed and stuff like that. It, it can it can potentially be a scary thing, especially when somebody's close to you. And so, um, so I'm gonna say underrated because uh, yeah, you know it's something important. You need to have it checked. It's it is something that uh, that's part of a man's life. So yeah, my underrated. dad is a uh, prostate cancer survivor, and uh, <clears throat> he had to have his removed. And so yes, it's an incredibly important thing because ultimately that would have killed him. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking he would have noticed some shit was wrong right before it got to be too late. But uh, if you do need to get one and you're worried about it, uh, they make lady doctors now. That's right. So uh, you can get you one of those. Finally, that's, they make lady That's doctors. right. Yeah. How about you, Fred? Uh, it, I'm saying with all of you. You know, uh, our dad did just go through it, and, yeah. and um, he actually comes back in a week or two to his 60-day checkup, but yep. they think they got it all. So uh, definitely go get checked. The the new part of the ultrasound, epic. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have to go for a prostate exam. I had to go for another type of exam. Oh, yeah. The 
the old way of checking for STDs, I guess, was getting a sample. Oh. So the doctor would just, let's go push on your prostate. <laughs> oh, really? I can give you a sample, doctor. I don't <laughs> need you to take a sample. Like, yeah. So, so unfortunately, I did. <clears throat> I do have a man that's you, been inside of me. You've had a man's <laughs> finger in that. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Ah, uh, man. And, and by the way, uh, I got to think for the doctor, it's not enjoyable. For no, me. he's right. not looking forward to it. No, absolutely not. Except for your doctor down there, Jeremy. One finger? Yeah. Or two? My, my doctor. I call him uh, Dave. Um, <laughs> Dave. Oh, yeah, he's, he's like, you don't name. have to call me a doctor because I'm not. Uh, <laughs> that's our dad's name. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah, you better pick a different doctor. Yeah, it's a different doctor. <laughs> he's lying. <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, anyways. Me, does your doctor have six fingers on the left hand? <laughs> no, he does not. Uh, <laughs> all right. my father. <laughs> Prepare, Prepare to, die. to die. Okay, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Again, guys, if you have any suggestions for these topics, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or on uh, TikTok. Uh, first question of the uh, episode will be, mundane jobs that should start hiring strippers as employees. Church's chicken. Oh, I thought you were just going to say churches. And I was like, <laughs> bet. Okay, well, fine. Bet. Changing answer to churches. <laughs> Absolutely. I think you'll see a massive upswing in clergy. <laughs> I, I think, think you, you will. probably will. Thank you, Will. The fucking choir would be lit as fuck. The oh, nuns? yeah. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, churches. Thanks, Fred. I appreciate it. You're that. welcome. Yeah. Got, me. Got it. that ass for <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You know how much donations the church would get? <laughs> oh, yeah. All in ones. Yeah, all, all in, in ones. ones. That's right. That's all right. That's Untraceable. Beautiful. How about you, Fred? Uh, I went with prostate, exa prostate <laughs> examiner. Yes. We'd all go get checked. That's true. We sure I mean, would. You don't need the 10 years of medical yeah. schooling to stick a finger up there and be like, it's, there's an extra lump. Yep. Absolutely. Like I, if 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 my hot doctor was a stripper and and was giving me the prostate again, I mean, especially if she just got naked while doing, it, I'll probably be a little bit more into it. Yeah, and insurance covers it, right? Hell yeah, fuck yeah, Jeremy. Um, I don't know if we should hire them for the people who work there, but maybe as the the guy who holds the fucking stop and and slow sign at, <laughs> at construction sites yeah because it's already a pole and they're hanging on to it right so if you hire a stripper for that maybe the people stopped in traffic well, don't have to be so fucking bored right that's experience holding a pole yeah yes so they're qualified right, right. yeah Shoot. yeah they'll spin that fucker around you darn right they hanging will hanging upside down from it okay next question things you can say while playing golf that you can't say about your spouse there's a lot. There's there's so many. Of it's in the hole. Is that your ball or mine? Right. <clears throat> Wash my balls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that hole standard size? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Groundskeeper didn't didn't really cut the rough very well today. God, the last guy left his divots. Yep, that's right. <laughs> you, you know what Derek can't say? <laughs> What's that? Four. <laughs> He's got to be like two, two and a half. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I've lost a little weight since maybe two and a half. Yeah. I'm done. Ah, uh, no, I'm going to bust out the driver. Okay. Uh, next question. What's the worst song to be playing during a lap dance? We got Jeremy. Uh, during a lap dance? Yeah. During. Um, well, there's the Ode to Billy Joe. <laughs> okay uh it's a it's a song about a family sitting around having dinner talking about how a local boy threw himself off a bridge <laughs> oh, um, God. let's see uh there, there's all kinds of, of bad ones that we could go with um <laughs> oh i'd be rock hard for that <laughs> I would be rock hard. Oh, no. This has got to be something nice. They always say that this song makes everything better. I think this would make it pretty awkward. You want me to play mine? Yeah. Karen she would, mine? <laughs> yeah. Over, she would get behind you. <laughs> she would get behind you and <laughs> hold her arms out. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I, I do. I think that'd be a little weird. What the fuck uh, is that? I was actually just <laughs> going to say, ladies, 
that's a bad one. That's a bad one. Dude looks like a lady. I was going to say, any Aerosmith song after 1986, because <laughs> they all suck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, if you heard, if you became a fan of Aerosmith in like the late 80s, and then you heard their really early stuff, like mm-hmm. Dream On oh, yeah. and uh, Sweet Emotion, how pissed off would you be? Knowing that yeah. this is what they became. Right. right. Fuck yeah. you guys. Why are you still around? I know. Um, but, uh, God damn, let's, let, we, we could spend some time. We got time, right? Oh, yeah, fuck oh, yeah. Sure. Let's Why go. Not? What do you want? What's next? Uh, Pac-Man fever. Yeah. Um, I said I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm Don't, blue. I'm, yeah, I'm probably blue. Mm-hmm. What's that 45-minute song? Oh, is it, is shit. It Skinnered or... Something? Freebird? Yep, Freebird. <laughs> Freebird. Uh, how about the... You're getting your money's worth. Um, I, I would be American raw. Pie. What about... What's his name? Michael Flatline, the dance people. Mm. The king, the Irish jig dancers. That. Oh, Lord of the Dance? Lord of the Dance. Whoa. That's I it. it. Yeah. Uh, this, I don't know how long the songs are, but yeah. Probably, probably she, pretty long. If she did that dance. Yeah, on, on yeah. you. Absolutely. Uh, God. Let's see. Let's come up with some horrible fucking songs. <laughs> I, I, Baby <laughs> Shark. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a good one. That's probably Jeremy. Or yeah, Derek's, Derek's favorite. favorite one. Uh-huh. Monster Mash would be the best. Oh, God. Oh, that man. That's awful. That's Ooh. one of my top two or favorite Adam's songs in the world. I'm a Barbie girl. Ugh. The German version? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me you've heard the German version. Sure, no, no, I, I oh, don't. Oh, my God. If no. you guys listening haven't heard the German version, Mm-mm. Google it. Okay. Alice's it is Restaurant. creepy. Oh, yeah? Allison's Restaurant? Alice's Restaurant. Okay. Have you ever heard that? No. I want to say it's 30 minutes long. It's just a guy talk singing about... It's him telling a whole fucking story that is not about Alice's Restaurant, uh, about them trying to... Uh, Illegally removing garbage and dumping it someplace where it's not supposed to on Thanksgiving Day, and then them getting fucking arrested for doing it. And uh, they used to play it like right at noon on T ninety five every oh, Thanksgiving. Great, awesome, and uh, that was it. Oh, and there's nine inch nails. In fact, that should fucking be our new theme animal. song. Yeah, yeah, that should be the new theme song for this. We should get the rights to that and play the whole thing <laughs> before <laughs> every, every episode. episode. Okay, we could cut these down to fifteen minutes. Uh, well, we actually are running a little bit long, so never mind. Are we really? Yeah, a little bit. Not too bad. Because of my fucking story. Sorry, yeah, guys. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah that's, no, it's no worries. Uh, next question. What is the password to the secret high society sex club down the street? One, two, three, four. Do it. A, B, C, D. <laughs> that's my. I don't know. I didn't Do get invited. To- do you have to type it in? Yeah. Well, no. I just tell or them. Or do you that. tell the guy? I tell them. I tell, I tell okay. them. Okay. Well, yeah. there's a guy. Yeah. There's a guy. He takes oh. the password. Wish I knew that. Yeah. I've been going to the wrong door. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Anal caviar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Why did you have? To? I requested caviar for dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's <Damn>. weird. <laughs> You, you really are doing well. Jesus. <laughs> I, I, I have. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he almost got wow, hit. Wow, yeah. Um, yeah, Gilberto uh, Celestino almost hits Gary Sanchez while walking, uh, by, while taking practice swings. That happened uh, the other day. And that's really not uh, Celestino's fault either. No, no that's Sanchez's, Sanchez's fault. fault. Sanchez, Watch where 100%. the fuck he's going. Yeah. Um, but, but no, uh, I mean, caviar already tastes like shit. <laughs> So you could keep it in your ass and nobody know. <laughs> yeah. I have never understood the appeal of it. It's I tried it once and it about made me fucking throw up. Really? Wow. wow. I Man, it. I enjoy I it. I fucking yeah. hated it. That and I get I couldn't get uh, past what I was eating. Escargo next week. Okay. I love escargo. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot you're doing the luxury yeah. fucking vacations. Right. How about you, Fred? What's your password? That's why I I didn't get it. I missed the memo. So oh. I Okay, I, I was left out. Okay, they didn't choose me one for putting the, the party on. Yeah, Airbud. That's your I'm, I'm the fucking door guy. That okay, all right. Hold Airbud <laughs> golden receiver. Right. Uh yeah. All right. Last question. What's something you should do if your spouse tells you to get in touch with your feminine side? Only one thing that I can think of: wreck the car. Two things. I Off can a bridge <laughs> into a tree. <laughs> yeah. Do the dishes. What's Jazz your hands? <laughs> Jazz hands. Oh, come on. There's got to be tons of these. 
I mean, bitch about everything. Oh yeah, well, everything. Anything? Go fuck the neighbor. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get an OnlyFans. That's mm-hmm. that's a big one right now. Um, laundry. Yeah, do the laundry. That that's that's good. Paint my nails. Yeah, paint your nails. Start wearing like uh, thongs for underwear. Dresses. What's even. that? Huh? What's that damn Mel Gibson movie? What, what women want? want? Yeah. 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 Lipstick. So whatever he's doing in there, yeah. Lipstick yep. and trying on the mm-hmm. for Become sure. Very passive aggressive. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. hundred percent. Take estrogen and shit. Just think that everyone wants to fuck you. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. But now, moving on, we are now going to get to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I believe I lost last week. Uh, I think Derek won. Did Derek win or did you win? Derek I think, won. I think Derek won. Derek okay. won. Okay. All right. So Derek's not here this week. And as always, we have our guest always pick first. Um, so that'll be Fred. Fred will get first picks. Uh, Jeremy will get the sandwich picks. And I uh, – or no, I will get the sandwich picks because I got dead last. And Jeremy will get the championship picks because he got second place. That's that's right. Now I, now I know what I'm doing. Somebody knows what's going on. Yeah, somebody kind of knows what's going on. But uh, anyways, this week's draft is going to be our dream cars, our favorite cars that we wish we could own. That's that draft. Uh, we're going to start off with Fred. So what is your numero uno My dream numero car? numero uno. Man, you can picture it. Black, okay. white racing stripes. Okay. 1969. Okay. Chevelle SS. Chevelle. Okay. Wanted one since I knew what a car was. Okay. Yeah. I I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of go ahead and let the one that I probably would want more than any of them slide because I don't think this one will get back to me. But I'm gonna it take. It probably will. No, it wouldn't. Probably I'm gonna will. I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take uh, no shit. I'm gonna we go. Him. We got him. No, shut up. We got him. I'm going to go with Eleanor, 1967 Shelby GT Mustang. Okay. Okay. You can have it. Well, fine. I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, you get two. I am going to go with a 1969 GTO Judge. Okay. <clears throat> That's a good one. That is a good one. And a 1971 Hemi Barracuda. Cuda. Cuda. Nice. All right. It did come back to me. I'm actually surprised. I'm going to go with the General Lee. 1969 Dodge Charger. Paint that fucker black and put an American flag on top of it and call it the General Grant. That'd be all right. That'd be all right. Yep. All right. Fred, you got it, dude. Just one? You got two. Oh, two. Back to back. Okay. Back to back. That changes me up a little bit. Yep. Um, I really... I've got a lot on here, but how do I want to win this draft? Right. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and take the 63 Corvette Stingray. Oh, shit. That was the one I was hoping would come Damn back. They are fucking gorgeous. Yeah, uh, that's a good pick. And I'm not going to lie. I think i got to do it. The 81 DeLorean. Oh, okay. That's a good pick. That is a good pick. You know, those are world-renowned for being huge pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah, but I can have one. But you can have one. I don't... It's not yeah. going to be my daily driver to haul logs off with. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I don't think it would be any driver, because most of them won't run. Right. Have, did, did you see that movie about the guy who started it? Uh, John DeLorean? John DeLorean. It yeah. was a movie with Jason Sudeikis and... Uh, oh, fuck. Pace. I can't remember, think of his last name. Uh, the guy who played... Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> missed that Ronan. movie. Yeah, Ronan. Missed, missed that movie. On uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, Lee Pace. Um, anyways, uh, there's a scene in there where they're at a party celebrating. They rolled the f- first few off the line, and uh, they gave one to Johnny Carson, and there's a call on the speakerphone from Johnny Carson to the whole party. Nice. DeLorean, you piece of shit. What the <laughs> fuck did you send me? This one broke down. Well, yeah, we know that, Johnny, but we've sent you a new one. Yeah, 
It broke down too. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, they weren't good. Yeah. Okay, I get next pick, and I'm going to take the uh, the um, first American car that beat the shit out of Ferrari at Le Mans. Mm. I'm going to take the Ford GT40, designed okay. by Carroll Shelby. That fucking great movie. It wasn't. It was but, a uh, great can fucking you story. you tell where Scotty works? No, I got a I got a charger on here, dude. Uh, he doesn't tell where he works. But, <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't. But yes, I can tell because I already knew. Um, <laughs> all right. Okay. My turn? Yep. Uh, 87 Buick Grand National. Really? Oh, dude, those things are fucking badass. Okay. Um, and then... <clears throat> uh, fuck, I haven't come up with another one. Um, it's going to be tough. 69 Firebird. Uh, okay. Damn it. Okay. Well, this has been one of my favorite cars since I was a, a kid because um, I never thought I was going to be able to afford one. I probably will never be able to. Um, but I, I'm going to go with uh, the Viper. Um, the I, oh, this is like a two thousand and something Dodge Viper. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a Dodge Viper. Okay. All right. You know I've only ever seen them in red. They know they're in different colors. In black. I've seen a black one. Oh, okay. They're, yeah. They're, okay. They're here. They're here. I'm all American though. I like that. That was like during that big revamp that Dodge did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the early '90s, because they had been such shit. Like flimsy fucking discount cars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they came out with those tough fucking trucks with the Cummins diesels and Yeah. And they the Dodge Intrepid and the Stratus. The Stratus, God, yeah. Those were such yep. shit. God, they were everywhere. But they compared were, to oh, what they had, so they were at shit. least sleek and stylish compared to the boxy yep. Plymouth Reliant and right. all that shit. Those were my, the Dodge my first Diplomat. cars. I had mm -hmm. a neon. Yeah. All right, Fred, you get the final two or your final two picks. My final two back to back again? Yep. Oh, I think I'm going to change it up. I think I would like the uh, 22 Mustang Shelby GT500. Oh, fine. I've Don't. just seen those, and they are... Not designed by Carroll Shelby. No. No, not, not, but they are good looking. They are very sexy. They are very good looking. And that's uh, I think that's going to be one of the last... Uh, oh, uh, shit, I get a few. Yeah, I you, get, you get one more, yeah. My bad. That's okay. Do, do, do. do I want a movie car or do I want one that I've always wanted? Yeah. That's a tough choice. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I got to go with it. My dream car that I've wanted since I was 14 was a 2001 Plymouth Prowler. Ooh, nice. I don't know why. I don't either. I mean, they're, they're cool looking. They're cool looking. I heard I, they were shit, too. I'm sure they are, but it's just so cool looking that... They're different, you know. They're they're just they're yeah, just they, different. like they tried to make a, a they, rat rod yeah, production they, series. They yeah they tried to go with like an old thirty style cruiser or yep. something. And failed. Okay, I am actually gonna uh, go with uh, a car that I have pictures of. I've seen. I've sat in. I never drove it, but I, I the only reason why I didn't ever drive it was because I was fucking terrified I was gonna wreck it. And that is a McLaren six fifty S Spider. Mm-hmm. That's a sexy fucking car. And they're fast as shit. All right, your last pick there, Jeremy. Uh, Saab. <laughs> Saab? <laughs> I already got that one. <laughs> oh, has that been taken? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, I'm going to go with... Yeah, I'm an, uh, God damn it. S Saab. You're going to stick with the Saab, are you? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to stick with it. I mean, they were turbocharged. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with the 82 Ferrari 308. Okay. The 82. Magnum PI. Magnum PI. There is one that I did want to pick because I didn't want to have a whole bunch of Fords, uh, but the Shelby 427 Cobra. Yeah. Uh, that's that's one of the most iconic cars in sports history. And I, I, I would have taken it other than McLaren, but I just, obviously, I, I'm a Ford fan. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, and um, McLaren... <laughs> I'm trying to think that that's like a fucking like super futuristic looking 
sports car in it? No, no, no not, not the, the spider. spider. No, not the spider. Spider's not. The spider's what am I thinking one. of? You're, th- you're thinking of like the um. Oh shit! I, I'm not even thinking of the same fucking the, brand. No, you're no, not. They start the, the I'm no, thinking of a Bugatti, McLaren, Cena, or Cena. That. Well, there's that too, but yeah. no, that's not what I was saying. Oh, okay. I was thinking okay. of uh, something by Bugatti. Yeah, and and I'm yeah. sure like those those cars would be too much. I, I think w- especially with our personalities, like I bet you there's a whole bunch of people that are gonna be googling like the most expensive fucking cars on planet Earth and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like I'm, I'm not about show. I'm America. not either. I'm. I mean, like the McLaren is even kind of pushing it for me. Even the Viper is a little much. But well, and and that's the thing too with like. Uh, have you seen what they do now with these resto mods? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they take, if for those who don't know, that's where they take an old classic car and they fix it up to look original, but it's actually you know new motor, new new suspension, new all modern electronics and all that mm-hmm. in it, uh, you know modern uh, instruments on it, and that's just because. When they say they don't make shit like they used to, they don't. They make it better. Yeah. Uh, way better. <laughs> way and, better. Um, you can get 300,000 miles out of a car now, whereas odometers used to not go to 100,000 miles. Yeah, they mm-hmm. would stop at 99,999. Yeah. yeah. Well, they would roll over. They would roll over. And right. then you're, you would have to put on your title that it exceeds the it expected exceeds the life of the right. vehicle because anything over 100,000 was gravy. Right. But I don't think I'll ever go away from the fuel i don't think i'll go i, I never don't I, I really don't think i'll ever go full electric like everybody's about tesla and stuff but and i saw the new dodges that are coming out like th- instead but of they don't even make noise but they put speakers they put in, noise in them yeah. they ever. put speakers in them well they have to because you would people wouldn't hear you coming it's yeah, a safety sure. thing um but you can make it sound like whatever you want. <laughs> so I would just put in the speaker, get out of the fucking way! Get out of the fucking way! Get out of the fucking way! Over and over. Over and over again. And as you sped up, it would just get louder <laughs> and faster. Get out of the fucking way! Get out of the fucking way! <laughs> to where it's screaming, but never stops. <laughs> oh my God, get out of the fucking way! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, but anyways, guys, this is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft for this week. You can go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote for your favorite list of our favorite uh, dream cars. Uh, and uh, by clicking on the corresponding emoji, uh, and whoever wins, I don't know, gets a pat on the back or something. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite oh, part. And, and oh. for the people who comment oh. on it. Yeah. Uh, when telling us that we forgot about this no we well, didn't no, we didn't uh we didn't necessarily forget about it we didn't want to put it on there that's right or uh how could you forget about it? just like we did that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that'll just, answer your question yeah, exactly, just like that exactly like well, this we, we are giving you a clinic on how to forget about that one thing that you think should be in there that's right in fact you could just say i would have put this totally fine that's yep. totally fine but how did you forget about that uh, we don't give a shit yeah, we're we're not uh I, i'm I'm going to go out on a limb and just uh, guarantee I'm smarter than you. So um, <laughs> it, the, the fact that you're taking time out of your day to comment on it, uh, <laughs> the fact that I take time out of my day to read some of those comments pisses me off. <laughs> um, I, I'm really disappointed in myself. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I concur. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines Shitty Situation of the Week, brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, it's uh, it's science time, Scotty. Yay! I'm going to give you a quick, uh, quick chemistry lesson. Um, My favorite. When a volcano erupts, it releases a lot of uh, gases, not just lava and ash, but also a lot of uh, gases from deep within the Earth, one of which uh, being a greenhouse gas, which we know as carbon dioxide. It releases a fuck ton whenever it happens. Uh, But from time to time, there are volcanoes that form underwater. Uh, When this happens, the carbon dioxide, if the lake is deep enough, the water is deep enough that's over, especially freshwater lakes is where this happens, especially on... uh, Lakes that form on volcanic craters. Um, The carbon dioxide, if the lake is deep enough, the pressure from the top will not let the carbon dioxide rise. And the pressure will actually make it kind of meld loosely with the water molecules, uh, forming uh, H, what is it? H2O3C. Uh, It's it's a very light light bond uh, that can be very easily undone. And the only thing holding it together is the pressure from the water above it. 
Um, but from time to time, something can occur that uh, makes the pressure above it decrease tremendously. And what happens is uh, the carbon dioxide will all release at once and make a huge, uh, what they call a limnic eruption. Uh, to give you a good example of what that is, it's the process that's triggered whenever somebody puts uh, Mentos in Diet Coke. Oh, okay. Uh, that will happen if something happens to reduce the pressure in the upper layers of a lake that has a bunch of carbon dioxide nice. stored in the bottom of it. And uh, on August 21st, 1986 at Lake Nios, that actually happened. Mm. Um, and it wasn't good. Uh, approximately 1.6 million tons of carbon dioxide were instantly released, which triggered a uh, 100 meter tall wave that uh, crashed on the fucking beaches and destroyed a lot of fucking property and uh, forestation around it. Um, but then uh, with carbon dioxide being heavier than air, uh, all this, this huge cloud of it then descended onto everything within a 16 mile radius and uh, suffocated every living thing living oh. within that area, nice. uh, along with countless wild animals, pets, and livestock. Uh, 1,746 people Shit. were killed by this, uh, making it one of wow. the deadliest carbon dioxide releases ever. One of them. Um, and now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, the fresh maker. <laughs> oh, my God. That's fucking terrible. Hey, it freshened up the land. I guess so. But anyways, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is would you rather get a prostate exam with a doctor with huge hands with your entire family watching uh -huh. or get a vasectomy with hot nurses in a freezing cold room? The point being that your dick shrivels yep. to its smallest possible size. I don't care if that thing crawled up back inside of me. I'm going with the nurses. You can fuck right off with somebody putting fingers in my ass, especially if he's got big fucking hands and my family watching. So I'm going vasectomy, and it's not even close, boys. Brett? I, I'm, I'm already as small as I could ever be. Right. So just let the nurses look at it. Yeah. They might think it's cute and want to take it home. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> I mean, you know, they, they, maybe they'll play with it a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. Fuck yeah. Jeremy? Um, okay. Well, I've had the vasectomy thing done. Okay. Uh, with a really hot nurse. Watch, she was a med student, actually. Okay. Watching on. Um, didn't get to see my, my dong. Um, they put a, like, a sterile, like, paper towel blanket thing over me. Right. And then just ripped a hole in it and pulled my balls out. <laughs> <laughs> that was... So I got to lay there covered in a blanket... You're just With my that. balls hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> that just was fun. A, just a nut blanket. I would much rather be completely exposed. I think I would too. <laughs> just, to just, your, have that. <laughs> just your nuts pulled out into a little slit that they made. Oh, that's fucking great. It was kind of like one of those <laughs> things that you'll see at a carnival where it's got a picture of something and you can just put your head... Through there to take <laughs> pictures. Only this was just a blanket and balls. Um, you know, had they been good with CGI back then, maybe they could have projected something <laughs> yeah. better on there and just inserted my balls into that. But uh, it, it wasn't fun. Um, that being said, I'm going to go with that uh, because, uh, unfortunately, I can't get a new family. I can get a new doctor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's exactly Which is what right. I did. Uh, yeah. Oh. So, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's where I would definitely go with that. <laughs> Clean and, sweep. And, uh, well, fuck, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. What were you thinking to change your answer? Well, okay. I'm taking it. You've never had a vasectomy? No. They're not fun. I know they're not. They're, um, the thing is, they numb yeah. you up really good, which I would have rather, I think, rather than get that shot of whatever they numb me up with, I would have rather they just did it raw because uh, that burns more than anything I've ever felt in my <laughs> life. Uh, that coming getting out of the in, numb? Get, no, getting injected oh, getting, with that stuff. Oh, that, oh. that stuff burns like hell going in. Oh. Um, and then once you're good and numbed up, the doctor has a job to do, and he doesn't really care that those are balls that he's just <laughs> knocking around. Yeah. But then when you stop being numb, 
There's a reason why it feels like your balls have been kicked <laughs> around by a soccer team because they basically have. <laughs> That's what I hear. They're, so, they're so like a fucking feeling. like like when somebody like hangs a tennis ball from a ceiling for a cat to fucking play around with. That's basically what he's doing with your testicles. Oh shit! Yeah, that doesn't feel good. No. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, but I still think that would still feel ten times better than a doctor shoving fingers up your ass. But that's over quick, and when it's over, it's over. Yeah, I know. but oh, he lives in your head forever. Yes, yeah, he does. And the thing is, most of my family is made up of medical people, so they've seen probably worse. Probably. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to change my answer. I don't like this clean sweep. The idea of having to go through another vasectomy, one, means that this one didn't take. And uh, second, yeah, I don't want to go through that. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Well, thank you guys so much again for listening to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. We don't have any shows uh, coming up for uh, in us individually, but I can tell you right now, we still do have a very, very few select tickets available. For, They're running lean. Yeah. They it's are get, fucking running lean. It's getting pretty and lean. And I don't think Steve has put in. I got a few on the on a special list of people coming, so some of those tickets that I we have available be, are gone. gone. Yeah. So, um, you know, we can probably find some standing room only, but... Uh, if you want to be sure and get in, get your tickets now. Absolutely. And you can go to our Facebook or our TikTok uh, page in our bios and all of the links in, on Instagram as well. Uh, there is the link to get your tickets and get them quick because they are running out. And it is coming up. It is coming it right is. around the corner. It's a lot closer than I yeah, thought it was. About a month and a half now? October the 22nd, laughing on the sidelines live at Vorshay's Lounge. Steve is actually currently fixing the stage. He's building the stage up today. Why'd you break it? I, well, I don't know. Derek was dancing on it, oh, and so that's what happened. Makes sense, right? So he um, makes extra money that way. That's right. So it'll be a nice, uh, nice venue. Cannot wait to see you guys. Uh, I'm pretty pumped. Uh, all the people that are coming, we sincerely do appreciate it. But if you do want to come to the live show, there are very, very select few uh, tickets that are available. So check them out. And as always, guys, uh, we seriously do appreciate uh, you sharing our TikToks, our content. We sincerely do appreciate that. And as always, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope somebody replaces your morning cereal with a bowl full of anal caviar. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, it's kid tested and mother approved. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.